Let's roll, baby. If I can get down. Sunday, August uh, 19th. Look at this road back here. I'm helping Curtis out again with uh, one of his properties that he's got to get a few, uh, some food plots in. Ah, I haven't finished my coffee yet. But look at how pretty this is, man. This is really nice and remote. I got the Branson on the back, so we'll see how it goes. I had to bring the bush hog. Uh, because he <clears throat> he blew up his bush hog, so I might need to do some welding on it for him. This is the first time you've seen it. Yeah. What do you think? That's a big old sucker, man. That sucker's nice. Big red. Just is that say the name? badass. That's big Megatron. Megatron. Yipper. I see you got a new machine over there. We'll have to check that out. Oh yeah. Nice. Where do you want me to park? What's gonna get bush hog? It's a jungle right now. Nastiness. So just you gotta just kind of make that this loop right here. This All right. Whole, whole section. This uh, when you see my side by side path here. Check out this really beautiful trail. This is the same place I helped them last year. This is beautiful. We're gonna have a little bit of fun today. That away. All right, here's Capper's management minute. I'm out with Curtis on a property, and you see there's a crossing here. It's a good size culvert pipe, but it is extremely narrow. Extremely narrow, so much that I don't think I could take the tractor across it. You could see that the four-wheeler tracks, it's a side-by-side. -side. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you're going to make a crossing, consider making it wide enough. And you have to make it extra wide because you lose, you know, you can't go all the way up to the end like this. You, you're going to lose it two or three feet in some cases due to the pitch. So just keep that in mind when you're uh, making crossings, ditch crossings. All right trying to figure out where a food plot's supposed to be. It's right here. So he put the miscanthus across the... thick stuff here you can see all these trees are uh, seven eight footers um, huge autumn olives but I'm going forward I know this is all pretty good ground because it used to be a uh, farm ground but you could hear even the uh, even the Branson struggling a little here and we got 64 horse so my message has always been get as much tractor as you possibly can. 
Uh, keep in mind this is wet. <laughs> Not only thick, but wet. And I'm cutting it as low as I can get it so that uh, it's easier to till up. So it's, it's thick, it's wet, and I'm cutting all the way down to the ground in one pass. Um, I know the cut the 60 horse would not have done this. So keep that in mind in your tractor shop and get as much tractor as you can afford. Uh, you can't really have too much, but you can often have not enough. them are going to be micro plots. Going through some, uh, <clears throat> some deep woods and hills. Okay, so that four-wheel drive, um, this is a very low end down here, and it's obviously wet. We've been, we're trying to cheat rain. We're in, the, in between rainstorms, so you could see a couple of these ruddy spots here where I was going uphill from left to right, where, uh, I mean, I'm not positive I, if it kicked in or not. It may not have even kicked in yet, but if I find a really soft spot, I'll show you that. To see how that automatic four-wheel drive works but 
This is an example of how quick you can lose a food plot. This was a beautiful fall plot last year. <clears throat> and you see the growth here. I mean, the stuff was five foot high and mega thick. So uh, that's why maintaining them is important. But uh, we're going to have this tilled up and Curtis is going to plant it here and it'll be another brand new fall plot. All right, so now I'm coming into uh, the next plot. And you can see, well, I don't know if you can tell, but it's really, really steep here. Uh, but this one is way, way out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I dug a watering hole here last year, so we'll get a quick peek of that. Oh, get off of me, man. Anyways, um, let's check it out here in a second. Oh yeah, what a mess we got going on here. Uh, now this one, I remember there's a ditch here. I might need to four wheel drive for, but we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you posted. Look at that, that is just beautiful. Beautiful water hole. I made a ditch here right down there. It drains out to the left when it's full He's taunting me <laughs> He's taunting me <laughs> That's old capper for you. Okay, here is an after look at plot number three. Here is the watering hole. This should hold three to four foot of water. And here's a look at the plot. This had a bunch of holes in it uh, where Curtis couldn't even bush hog because of the holes. Which is full right now. And uh, wow, that's just beautiful. 